Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. Hey, this video we're going to talk about the width tool. Now the width tool here, I love the width tool. Um, it's a way of changing your boring strokes, kind of like what we did with the brush libraries earlier, remember the fire? Okay, but this one here is to play with the kind of width of it, obviously. So we're going to create a new layer, just so we don't mess up any of our earlier um, stuff that we've been working on. I'm going to call this the uh, width tool. And um, there's no naming conventions for the layers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be on the first keyframe here. I'm going to grab my pencil tool. I'm going to have the smoothing. I'm going to crank the smoothing up to like 70. So what I want to do is on um, this alien here, I'm going to give him a kind of a hairdo. Now I'm going to turn my stroke down to one and I'm going to make it black. My alien has black here and I'm going to keep, that's not bad. Okay, so I just kind of drew that one. Do I get even luckier? What you might do is my smoothing up to 100 and then you're almost guaranteed to get something. I'm clicking undo or edit um, using the shortcut here for command C or control C on a PC um, just to get something I like. And then we're gonna switch to this width tool. Now the width tool, it's brilliant. Watch this, click, hold and drag. And it just kind of, come on. Which way am I dragging it? There you go. Okay, so it, it just kind of adds that, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. We haven't zoomed in much in this program. We haven't done it at all actually, is I don't zoom in quite a bit because this is, a, you need to view it actual size. Why? Because that's the size that it's gonna be on a website in terms of an ad. So there's no point zooming in too much, but there's some zooming in here or some shortcuts, hold down command plus on your keyboard and minus to zoom out or control plus on a PC and then minus to zoom back out. So I'm gonna zoom in. Can you see it just kind of adds this nice little curve to it. Um, so you can add more than one, okay? And it just means, if you've ever tried to draw anything with the Bezier pen tool, and you've, you can draw one side easy enough, but trying to get a matching side can be quite tough. Now, I still don't like that shape. It's not smooth enough for me. Go away, you go away. So one more time with the pencil tool. Come on, pencil tool. I should use the pen tool, but I'm trying to keep it all to like really simple tools in here, because I don't want to have to go and explain the pen tool, because that's a whole day's work. Come on, yeah, we're getting there. Actually, what I'm gonna do is, are we using the smooth one? We are. Feels like the best I've got it. That looks okay. Anyway, so back to the width tool. I'm gonna grab you, drag it out. You can see it's just, a, it's a nice smooth line. So there's nothing more than that. And um, it gets kind of cool when you start going into say, say I wanna, I'm gonna unlock the wizard layer and I'm going to zoom in on his arm here, and I'm gonna double click it. Okay, and I'm double clicking a couple of times. I've gone inside of a group, inside of a group, because it's been grouped all sorts of ways, and I eventually got my way into the arm here. So I keep double clicking it until I found all my way in. Okay, I'm inside all these different groups, and I'm gonna use the ink, okay, the ink bottle tool. So the fill tool adds a different fill. So I can pick a new fill from here, and, and that's what he does. Okay, the ink bottle, I'm gonna undo that, uh, The the ink bottle here does a similar thing, but except with the strokes. So I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna add a stroke to the outside. Can you see it just adds it to it there? Okay, and it added a nice stroker on the outside. And then if I go in with my width tool, I can kind of get a kind of a cool illustration style. Watch this, if I drag, say this corner out a little bit. Can you see what it's doing? It's kind of moving it around and I can start kind of skinning it in bits and trying to get it looking a little bit more like a pen Okay, and you can kind of get a nice cool stylized um, kind of stroke around the outside. Yeah. There we go, that's fine. Now I wanna go all the way back to scene one. I can either double click the background by using my selection tool, or you can just click scene one. Double click my background a couple of times, all the way back to scene one. You can see I could start working around with this, uh, adding with the ink bottle, adding strokes around the outside, and then playing with the width tool. I'm gonna zoom back out. The quick key to kind of full screen is Command-1 on your keyboard or Control-1 on your keyboard. Should zoom all the way out again to like 100%. All right, that's it for the width tool. Actually, one last thing before I go. I'll show you the width tool 
Width 2 was stolen from Adobe Illustrator and it's amazing what you can do with it here. There's some of the drawings I've done. So um, let's look at this one's a bit more, better example. So it's it's a, it's a just a stylized bit of type. Um, and what I do is I draw it first with the pencil, okay, in my notebook. And then I go over it with the Width tool. And the Width tool works exactly the same in Illustrator as it does in Flash. So you can use this, the exact same thing in Flash. And you can see the kinds of lines you can draw that are just really impossible to do with the pen tool normally. Um, so yeah, if you are using the um, uh, Illustrator or Flash, um, the Width tool could be a new best friend for you for especially kind of these curved varying sizes along here. All right, that's it for the Width tool, finally. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and yeah, how did I, good YouTube people?